in terms of Sid, he's been producing. He's uh, he's a you know a world class player, one of the best that you've ever seen. You also have Malkin, Chris Letang. But there is some criticism in the idea that they're getting older. Uh, is the window closing? What challenges are, are presented to you in terms of maybe prying that window open and getting the most you can out of these guys? Well, and that's that's the goal, to see if we can add this year and, and see how far we can get with the group. Now, yes, we're, we're the team's getting older. The stars are getting older. But since I've been here, they've all been excellent. Like there's no drop off in play. Maybe from 100 point seasons there is, but there's no drop off from these three because I put Chris Letang in there too. He's been unbelievable lately. So we think we've got three star players that are still maybe they're not in their best producing years, but they're still really good players. And we got to see if we can put something else on the team and see what we can do in the playoffs if we can make the playoffs and then see what we can do. But certainly. Uh, the cupboard is bare or almost bare in terms of prospects and picks. And that's the price of winning cups. And that's the price I'll happily pay coming here. Like I've never, never looked at a hill and said that hill's too steep. So we've got some tough decisions. The questions you're asking, Julie, are very fair and they're right. And so we have to figure that out. But the main thing is we've still got three big pieces on the chessboard. Our goaltending has been spectacular so far since I got here. These guys are getting the job done really well. So we got to see if we can add to this group without forfeiting futures, which people say, how do you do that? You have to make some trades probably. But we'll see if we can do it. Uh, we'll look at some free agents, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But there are some tough decisions ahead, and there's no question. Ownership gets that. 